Rest Kids. It's Rose, co-director of Children's Ministry. I'm so glad that you're able to join us again today for a lesson. I want to open us in prayer. Father God, thank you for allowing the children to join us today. Open their minds, their hearts, so they are able to receive your word and learn more about the greatness of your love. Thank you for blessing us and continue to keep us safe from all hurt and harm. Amen. Last week, we learned about God creates the world. We learned that he created the world in six days and on the seventh day was a day of rest. We learned that he hung the moon, the sun, the stars in the sky, and he created you and me as well. This week, we're going to learn about the Garden of Eden. And in Genesis 2, 8, it says, Now the Lord planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put a man he had formed. So we have a short video for you to watch. And at the end of this video, we're going to have some questions. So please put on your listening ears and get ready to answer the question. I'll see you real soon. How did God create humans? God created man out of the dust. The Lord breathed life into him and the man lived. The first man was called Adam. God created Adam in his own image. God then planted a splendid garden called Eden. It was a wonderful place, a place of bounty and peace. You are free to eat from any of the trees, except this one, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. If you eat its fruit, you will die. God saw that Adam was alone. He told Adam to name all the animals. I shall call you birds. You are horses, cattle, dogs. God saw that Adam was still alone and decided to make a companion for him. One night, as Adam slept, God took one of Adam's ribs and created a woman. The woman's name was Eve. I trust that you guys really enjoyed the video and that you played attention. So we have a few questions here. And the questions are, what did God use to make man? And if your answer is dust, you did great. That is the correct answer. So man was lonely and God decided he needed a companion. What part of Man's body did God use to make a woman? He used a rib. Great job, you did it again. What is the name of the man or woman God created? No, it wasn't Jack and Jill. You, you know that I'm just kidding and just playing around, but the answer is Adam and Eve. What is the name of the place that Adam and Eve lived? They lived in the Garden of Eden. What is the name of the tree that God told Adam he could not eat? He told Adam you can eat anything in the garden except from one tree. Are you thinking about it? Okay, the tree of knowledge. So I want to thank you all for joining us today, and I want you to remember how powerful God is, how he created Adam just out of dust, and from him he created Eve just from a rib, and that he gave man dominion over everything in Eden, from all of the animals, and they could eat anything they chose except for, for one tree, and that was the tree of knowledge. So I'm going to pray us out. Thank you, Father, for letting us join together to share how you created man. Thank you for allowing our children to learn 
and to continue to glorify your name. Thank you for your many blessings, and we ask you to cover their families and their homes. Amen. And I will see you guys next week for another lesson. Thank you. Bye.